Allah is not expecting everyone to be exactly the same with all of their parents. My parents are a blessing to me, alhamdulillah. Somebody else's parents are a huge trial for them. They, they're not the same. It's, it's not the same. Somebody's siblings are the best thing that ever happened to them and somebody else's siblings is like Habil and Qabil. <laughs> it happens. Not every family is the same. Allah is not expecting the same exact behavior from everyone. What Allah is expecting though is ihsan. You know what that means? It means what's the very best you can do in your situation. I'll tell you something I may have mentioned before. A friend of mine had a terrible relationship with his mother. And you know in Islam how much Allah talks about the mother. How good you have to be your, to your mother. How we can never thank our mother. How she gave us birth. And how she, you know, she almost died giving us... And, and, and the, the, the favors of her and the acknowledgement of her in the Quran is remarkable. And in the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ, it's so remarkable. The status of the mother. Everybody here knows. If you know nothing else about Islam, you know how, how high up mom is. You know that. You know? And then his, he had a terrible relationship with his mother, not because of him, because she was extremely abusive. And she tortured him mentally, psychologically, even physically sometimes. To the point where he developed like a major anxiety and started having panic attacks and even started developing seizures. So if, when he would be in the company of his mom, he'd literally start foaming at the mouth and pass out. Like that happened multiple times to him because of the things his mother says and the way she abuses him verbally. And he feels that he has to keep going back to go talk to his mom because he doesn't want to burn in hell. Because you know, if I, go, if I don't go back to mom, then Allah will be angry at me because you, you don't have to be the best to your mom, you know? And so, what, what am I supposed to do? And I told him, and I say this with a, a clean conscience, in his case, the best he can do is stay away from his mom. Take care of her rights, take care of her needs, but you cannot do that at the expense of you being abused yourself. If that was the case, Ibrahim salam is in an abusive environment where his father is committing shirk. He's not there to just stay at home and I'm just going to be with you no matter what. When he kicks him out, he leaves. He's, he's, he's gone. Not everybody's circumstance is the same. But anyway, that's a side note. وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا With your relatives, with you know, the, the, the needy, the orphans, the needy, you do the very best that you can given your circumstances. You have to do a full assessment of what your circumstances, maybe even get some outside help, but to expect that we all have to be perfect in every relationship and everybody's expected the same standard, that is just not our deen. That's just not Islam. Okay?